Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Amy, also known as Potato Da Da Da. So in the last video, what happened was this irritated me a bit. So after recording, when uh, at night when I sat down to edit the video, uh, I realized the video footage was 11 minutes. And then I recalled that I had recorded for at least 30 minutes or so and this pissed me off a bit. So now I'm going to make sure that I'm going to complete the entire segment of this series. This is not supposed to be a series by the way. Some of you even asked me why did I leave it at that. You should have uh, answered more questions. Well, I'm sorry, I wasn't meant to do all that, it just happened. I'm a professional YouTuber. Also, in the previous video, some of you said that my last video was a face reveal. It's it's not a face reveal. I revealed my face in one, in one of my old older videos. In the... which video? It was one of the animation videos. I think it's uh something i think it's the unique names i think that's the one for the last video i got a lot of good feedback so thank you i w i wasn't really sure if you guys will enjoy the last one but i'm glad that you did okay so let's get just finish off with this we're going to keep this q a pg 13 all right kids so in the last video it got cut off when i was answering this one question uh, did you learn singing because you sound great to me? So to answer this question real quick, I used to be a part of multiple choir groups and or music groups and in, also in school I used to be in the music society. So that's it. Nothing professional though. Next is how thick is Lucifer's sis give us the tea? I just said this is going to be a PG-13 video. Oh, you touched my ta -la -la. What major changes occurred in your past 10 years and what do you expect from the future? So to answer your first question, what major changes occurred in your, in your past 10 years? I think it's after I graduated school, that period when I started, I, I started doing internships and then I entered college and met a bunch of uh, like-minded people. I didn't get to do all that in school, but and then I was, I got introduced to a bunch of new people and uh, explored a bunch of internships and this and that. So it boosted my confidence level. In school, I, I never got a chance to, uh, what do you say, open up. So the moment I entered college, that's when I got to meet like-minded people. But in a way, I'm grateful to what all I have achieved in life. Second part is, what do you expect from the future? So, I have a bunch of goals in life. For someone like me, I like to have big goals or huge expectations. So, higher expectations creates false hopes and then it leads to disappointment. So, this is something that I like to avoid. But I'm not saying it's bad to uh, keep expectations but but I avoid them so there is a, a different word to it but I don't use the word expectations so I don't expect anything in the future I do have goals in life and I prefer to, I prefer to keep them to myself so like like it's some sort of uh, a secret project so yeah when are you taking me out to date so pick a date place and time and I'm all yours which country would you love to go I think almost all of my friends and most and some of you might know the country I would love to go to is Japan what all did you plan in high school that you would do in college like goals college debut or plans to go to na 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 college or what all you wanna become career options like I didn't plan on doing I didn't plan anything to be honest in high school. I didn't know what to do after I graduate from uh, high school or which university I wanted to go to. So after after I graduated from college, 
I just applied to all the uh, universities uh, and then in the end I just got 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 into one so for some of you who don't know I studied psychology when I was in university and I graduated uh, last year so yeah so after college career wise when I was in the last year I had to decide which all I had, to, I had to plan out stuff like which college like for masters what I want to do later on after I graduate either I either want to do a job or want to take a gap year or apply for masters and also so that time I did want to do I did want to go into the uh, psychology field I wanted to, I wanted to do counseling psychology but during my last year I digressed I lost interest in psychology because my mind was so into uh, Japanese that I wanted to pursue it as uh, as a job or something like that this is something which happens uh, spontaneously even if even if you plan stuff out in your mind you do end up diverting it's, it's all about exploring it's all about what 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 your uh, gut tells you I hope that answers your question oh god I hope it does you forgot simple man yes I did and I'm sorry simple man why no boy or girl well three things first I'm very picky second I have very higher standards <laughs> And third, I'm a very work-oriented person, so to be honest, I don't look forward to dating or want to be in a relationship because I'm so involved in my work. So I just let things flow. If I do end up finding someone, that's great. Hi Amy, how are you? Hey! What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, no more. What, is that? what do you eat to remain so thin? Earlier, like at least five, not five, at least six to seven or maybe eight years back, I used to be skinny, like bone thin like that. And uh, but I, I later on started gaining some weight, some weight and fat. So now I have at least something here. Otherwise, there was nothing. I'm still <laughs> like that. So, but now I started gaining a bit of bit of fat now, a bit of weight. But I'm still underweight. Now I have a belly fat, a cute tum tum. But otherwise, I've minimized junk food chips burgers pizzas and all of that and no carbonated drinks maybe like whenever i'm having a headache then i drink coke otherwise i don't drink any of that nothing specific i eat or drink to remain thin i eat everything so potato because it's my favorite thing and da -da -da because uh i wanted to make my youtube channel name unique uh, i wanted it to sound cute so there you have it potato da 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 and yeah i think that's it and i think we're done with all the questions i hope so i don't want to make another video i just wanted to end it all in this one so yeah if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up Comment and subscribe if you're new. You can follow me on my social media. I'm active on Instagram. My ad is potato da da da. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Okay,